there it's Amanda here from Lolly Luda Crafts and today I have a card for you for the men in your life it doesn't have to be it definitely can be made for any occasion men women younger people because you can change up the colors you can change up the sentiment but I've done it as a man's card um, and I hope that helps you guys because I know that you always say to me you guys struggle with finding cards to make for men so we're starting out with a seven by seven plain card base and then i'm taking this gorgeous pattern paper as always i will put all the details of the products used in the blog post with links if possible and um i think something like pattern paper i can only do my best because it's sort of in my stash so i'm not always 100 percent on what that is but i will do my best to identify for you so i've cut that down to a quarter inch smaller than the seven by seven so six and three quarter by six and three quarter that gives you one eighth of an inch gap around all of the sides i'm then taking this gorgeous sue wilson die now what you've got is you've got the die itself now the main die here does not have an edge to it so it doesn't cut an edge and it's five inches by the way so i've cut a piece of white cardstock to five inches square and then i'm taking the die and using the lovely blue so we're taking all the colors from our pattern paper and then we're taking the inner piece of the die the pattern part of the die and we're putting that in there now there is another bit of uh, die that's just like a square that goes between those two but that would cut it out so you don't want that piece so this just cuts out the patterns and the lovely sort of filigree elements and then we're just going to pop that out using my uh, spellbinders tool here i'm just using the pokey end and then i'm going to turn it over and use the little brushy bit to just gently pop those out and it's actually really effective i do like these little, this little brush thing it really does cut um the time of getting all those little pieces out so as you can see what i mean now it doesn't cut the, the actual edge of your piece there so what you can do is you can cut it to whatever size you want so you could have a, a two inch gap around the edge or right up to the edge of the die uh, design itself however you want it to be now i'm taking another uh, die from that collection and we're, again we're missing that piece out because as I showed you that will actually cut out a section we don't want that now this particular one does have an edge to the very outside so we're going to cut the whole thing the outside edge and the two pattern pieces we're not cutting the inside piece the um, single line as it were because we don't want that inner piece cut out completely we just want the pattern cut into the card so then again we're just going to use the little brush thing and remove all the little pieces that are stuck into the die cut there it just really speeds up the process and as you saw it looked really pretty and then for that one we were using the lovely brown card stop that mostly matched it was as close as I could get and I think for what we're doing you're not going to notice it and then I took the outside edge only and cut a piece in the white so then I took a third one from the collection and I took that inner piece that we talked about that I said to you I took out on the others they were obviously different shapes but then I was able to cut out just that little uh, oval to create uh, a tag that I'm going to use I've then taken my Tim Holtz letters and I've done the word dad but you as I said you could stamp on it you could stamp happy birthday you could stamp anything you want really change the colors up and it could become a, um, a sympathy card anything now this is where I said to you you can cut this as close or as far as you want now you can see here I'm cutting it sort of within about an eighth of an inch around each side this will give me just enough room to stick that down onto the white cardstock so first of all I am going to put my pattern piece of paper onto the card base so I'm just using some tape for that and I'm just popping that back on the back of the pattern piece because obviously the pattern piece is very slightly smaller than our card base and then I'm just peeling the back off the tape there and I want it as always I always I don't know why I just love um, square cards to be top folding uh, it's just 
my thing that I just always like them top folding but it doesn't matter you make your choices whether you want it top folding or to the side um, so then I've stuck that down if you're a little bit unsure that you'll get it exactly right use a wet glue and then you've got just a little bit of movement time to make sure that you get those edges absolutely perfect and then I thought that it would be nice just to add a little bit of the pattern paper to the inside just to um, add that interest and I had a piece that was literally that scrap it was literally already there so I just popped it uh, straight down and then we're using my hunky dory glue pen but any wet glue you've seen me do different methods where I've put the glue um, wet glue sort of on a piece of paper and sort of um, dunked very official term um, my dye into it to get it onto the lots of detail pieces there this time I went for the glue pen I just try to show you different things so you can see different methods of application because obviously you guys will have different things so I want to make sure I cover as many different ones as I can in the videos for you now what I always do like to do and I'm not sure I always show is that I like to use the roller to make sure that the die cut when it's so intricate is absolutely stuck down now what you don't want to do is put your roller directly onto the die one mine is in a real state but so it might mark it but also with the intricacy of the die if it's not stuck down properly and which is the whole point of using the roller it can actually catch a piece and lift it and rip it off if you put a piece of kitchen towel on top not only does it stop that happening as and this is the reason I use kitchen towel as opposed to a piece of paper um, the kitchen towel absorbs any glue that as you roll if there's any excess glue that kind of leaks out from any of this intricate dye because obviously it's very difficult to get exactly the right amount of adhesive on the back of these then it absorbs that extra adhesive rather than leaving it on your um, die cuts there so there you saw I did the brown piece and then I did the letters as well and doing exactly the same method using the wet glue followed by the um, roller with the tissue so then for all three die cut pieces I used some foam tape on the back of other foam squares again these are some hunky dory that I had these are really nice and strong they've got a really good stick to them actually I, I tend to find that they stay put really well which is nice because a lot of foam it tends to lift after a while these seem to stay and just to clarify I'm no longer working as a um, design team member for them I, I resigned from that so I'm saying this as my well I always would be honest with you anyway but this is like my honest opinion of them I really do like them it's not just because I happen to have been a design team member or anything so then we're going to take my first piece now originally I was going to do this square on square but I accidentally put it down um before i took the backings off uh, at this diagonal and i was like oh i quite like this sort of diamond shape on there it looks kind of weird at the moment because you've got the sort of oval bit in the middle it sort of looks a bit strange until you cover it up but i really like layering up these mats and you could do it without the white behind but it actually does make it easier to put the foam on obviously but also with the white behind you're not getting the the blue showing through and kind of there's otherwise there's so much going on that you almost don't see the different designs I quite like it sort of being much more clear that um, by having that white behind so then we just added the sentiment tag in the middle and as I said you could stamp on that you could use different letters so you could do mom nan whatever pops I mean, whatever you prefer I didn't want to add any kind of um, gems or pearls I do sometimes add pearls to guys cars I don't think that's so problematic I, I mean I actually don't think gems and stuff are a problem but you know some guys don't like that um, and so if you want to go for more classic more simple then um, which I did in this case so I just went for a very clear cut uh, design on the front there and then I took this other die this was um an x cut one but again i'm sure you could 
use anything again a stamp or any other dye that you had with the sentiment I just wanted to add a with love or or some well actually what I was doing was trying to find some sort of sentiment and I came across this with love and I thought oh that would work really well and then I cut it out of the blue and I just popped that inside just to finish it off and I think that just added a nice little finishing touch to it and again I just used my roller on that to make sure it was stuck down and that is it that's our card for a guy and I just think the colours are really interesting and the colour inspiration originally I was thinking like maybe like a navy and cream or something like this and then I came across the pattern paper because I was looking for some pattern paper in those sort of tones and I came across this pattern paper and I thought this is just a little bit different and maybe maybe it isn't to you I hadn't particularly seen this sort of colour combo a lot I have seen it but not in cards I've seen it in kind of fashion and and furnishings and stuff but not particularly um on cards that doesn't mean it's not out there it just means I haven't seen it um so I just thought it was a little bit different and I know that you guys like to see cards for guys so I hope that it has been helpful and I hope you like the finished card as always as I said before all details of the products used will be on the blog post also as always there will be a ton of photos for you so you can get a really good close look at it and the link to that blog post is in the paragraph below the video if you're not quite sure how to find that all you do is you go literally underneath this video there's like some text and there's a little bit that says show more click on that it opens it all up and you'll see a load of information and in there you will see where it says uh, corresponding blog post and there's a link and you literally just click on that and it will take you straight to my website with this blog post and all the pictures all the links to the products etc um, if you've enjoyed the video as everybody always says on youtube please like subscribe press that bell all that kind of stuff and thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye for now bye